Number two, integrity and loyalty moments are connected to transformation. Listen to that. Integrity and loyalty moments are connected to transformation. Notice it's not just integrity, it's not just loyalty, it's integrity and loyalty moments. What is an integrity and loyalty moment? It's something that's gonna happen this week that's going to challenge your integrity and challenge your loyalty. And you have to see it as an opportunity to show your integrity and your loyalty. You can't just see it as something happening to you. You have to say, this is a test. I have the opportunity now to show some integrity. I have the opportunity to show some loyalty. Sir, thank you for shopping at Walmart. Here's your change. And she gives you too much change back. You have an opportunity there when you realize you got too much change to have some integrity. Don't miss your integrity and your loyalty moment. I've missed it so many times and now I'm looking for an opportunity. Lord, give me another opportunity to just show you the integrity and the loyalty that you have placed in me. Are y'all with me here? And I want you to see how it happened to Joseph. Watch this now. It says, and the lad was with the sons of Bilhah and with the sons of Zilpah, his father's wives. Watch this. And Joseph brought unto his father their what? Evil report. Come on. What kind of report? evil report so let me explain what was happening he was with his father's true uh, uh, children and the reason why this is important you say well it should ain't that just his brother it is his brother but these are his brothers by the handmaidens he's hanging out they're his brothers and so you would think he would be trying to be like them since he's younger you would think that he would be trying to acclimate to them because he's younger. But he decides, I see them doing wickedness. And instead of being loyal to them, and instead of getting all in the dish with them, I'm going to take it back to my father because the only one I'm loyal to in this situation is my Y'all got me. Y'all see what I'm saying? Now, he could have very easily said, birds of a feather flock together. I'm out with my brothers. They smoking a little bit of sudden. I'm going to take a puff too. No, 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 no. He was out with them, but he was not of them. He was around them, but he wasn't doing what they were doing. It's possible for you to be in a sin sick situation, but you yourself be kept by the hand of God when you understand you have access to the father you've been dealing with an enemy you've been talking to the wrong person you got to take that report back to the father you see your loyalty as a child of God it ain't to me it ain't to the person sitting on your row it's to the father you see it's your father that has a house and a mansion for you waiting it's the father that gave you the Holy Ghost it's the father that guides you and leads you into all truth it is the father that you have to take all of your cares to and cast them on him for he cares for you you this is how clicks get started in church hallelujah be to God this is how little groups get started up in church because you're loyal to the wrong person there are some people that will defend people to the end how you def it's, it's wickedness why are you defending that it's all right to say that you love your cousin it's all right to say you love your uncle but if he wicked you can't defend wickedness you got to keep your loyalty in the right place and by the way I'm gonna throw this out at you hey amen some of you need to shut your ears but one of the problems with the African American and Mexican American community is that we've been loyal to race and not the father 
And you put that in your back pocket, go home and think about it later on. Amen. All of this wickedness and hell running through the streets and you're sitting out there picketing and protesting for wickedness. What is wrong with you? You need to stand up for righteousness. My loyalty is to the Father. When I was baptized in his name and filled with the Holy Ghost, I turned in my ethnicity card and I became a child of God. And the only loyalties I have on this earth... Y'all not going to help me right now. Amen. Not even to my mama. I love her. Amen. But my mama, my daddy, amen. Hallelujah be to God. But my loyalty is to the Father. What is God calling me to do? Because guess what? You can be loyal to your cousin and them. And when you get in a bind, guess what? They not going to be around for you. You can be loyal to Nene and them. Uh-huh. And they not going to be loyal to you. But when nothing else could help and you found yourself in a pickle. And when your family wasn't there and you sent a text message. And people were blocking you. Amen. Even on Facebook, there was a God who loved you who still showed up and brought you out of the miry clay and put your feet on a rock to stay and now you got the nerve to have a loyalty somewhere other than God you better be loyal to God that's the reason why you ought to praise God when you come up in the house of God whether you feel like it or not because my integrity and my loyalty moment can't be missed So it says, maximize your integrity moment. Keep your loyalty in the right place. Yeah, you ain't going to have me cussing my aunt out. Amen. You may not like it, but that's my aunt sitting right there. Amen. She was there for me when nobody else was there. For, are you hearing what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you have to have your loyalties in the right place. Some of your children, you feeding them. Gave them a roof over their head, made a little room for them, bought them a new comforter, buying them all this stuff, and you broke. You buying them all, everything you can, every little check come in, you're getting them a PS3, PS9, everything they need, you getting it to them. Whatever they want, you giving it to them. Then some little girl catch their eye. Now he jumping out the window. Can't go come home for dinner. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh, that boy needs a little loyalty check. Amen. You better make sure your loyalty is in the right place. Amen. Because after she dumps you, amen, and uses up all the money that I gave you, by the way, amen, she's going to leave you busted and disgusted. Then you're going to be coming home with foo-foo on your face. You need to keep your loyalties in the right place so you don't have to mend it up. It just stays up. And if you keep your relationship right with God, you don't have to mend it up. It'll always be there because he says the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous can run in and be safe. I'm messing with you this morning. Let me move on. Number three. Number three. Love and gifts are connected to transformation. Transformation is a process of love. Love, watch this now, always comes with giftings. God not only loves you, but he has also gifted you. Because he loves you, watch this now, he gives you his greatest gift, which is Jesus Christ. Jesus, when he ascended, he said, if I don't ascend, the Holy Spirit can't come. When you received the Holy Spirit, it came with gifts. 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 Gifts that guide you into all truth. Gifts that keeps the wool from being over your eyes. Gifts. Discernment gifts. It's, it's that I got a feeling. Y'all ever felt like that? I just have this feeling. I mean, where, where'd that feeling come from? I mean, was, is it the devil? Is it Casper? I mean, where, where is it coming from? I'm talking about this feeling of God. I'm talking about the, how the Holy Spirit can move on you and begin to direct you and you just feel like, I just got this. I got to go this way. See, that's a gift that the Lord gives you and understand that your transformation is connected to his love and gifting. And look at it in the scripture, verse 3. It says, now Israel, he did what with Joseph he loved Joseph how more than all of the children 
because he was the son of his what old age and he made him a what he made him a coat of many colors the coat of many colors represented authority the coat of many colors represented covering the coat of many colors represented gifting it was symbolic of the ephod ultimately that would be used by the priests when they would cover themselves amen and when they needed to make a decision before god they would put on the ephod and it would give them direction your father not only loves you but has given you gifts but you have to put the gift on if you're not careful you will reject the love of the father and when I say reject the love of the father that means not accept it you won't accept it when he says that you're blessed you won't accept it when he says you're more than a conqueror you won't accept it when he speaks highly of you when he says that I'm calling you out when he says I brought you out of darkness into this marvelous light you won't accept it because it's just too much love you just keep looking at yourself saying how could I be like that how could I do this or that well the father is giving you all of his attention and all of his love the Bible says he loved Joseph more than all that's what I love about the scripture it just tells it like it is amen you think that they would fabricate here amen any good parent tries to fabricate when they deal with the love of their children they say no I love all my children the same isn't that what they say no not Israel Israel just told it like it was he said no 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 I, I didn't love all of my children the same I love Joseph more than all of my children because he was born in my old age in other words he was a miracle child he was a child that came when I didn't think that I would be able to have children through Rachel and the Lord raised him up so now I'm gonna pour all of my love on him I want some of you guys who are struggling with your past and struggling with what you used to be I want you to know that sometimes uh, it's like it heightens God's love for you when he says look at all that you have been through I'm about to shine my love on you and my love is gonna change you and not only is it gonna change you but I'm gonna give you gifts uh, that can handle all of your deficits uh, and if you just begin to use the gifts uh, and the love of the Father, it will erase, amen, what you were. And you'll begin to go into who you shall be. So my statement at the bottom was, accept the Father's love and use the gifts he gives. Number four, and I'm done. Dreams are a prerequisite to transformation dreams are a prerequisite to transform